Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today I am here with Joe. Joe is my husband and what are we doing today, Joe? Uh, today we're going to be replacing the shift cables and housing on your road bike. This is a Trek Amanda SL6. He's been doing this for years for me and it is time I learn how to do it myself so that he doesn't have to do it anymore. I agree. Yeah. Make so. my job easier. <laughs> okay, so what do we need? We need a cable cutter, something like this. Right? Yep. So we've got the Pedro's cable cutter. What is this? Um, Pedro's. Okay. So. And then you need some Allen keys. You will also need electric tape, pliers, and scissors. So we're going to be replacing the cables for the front and rear derailleur. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is shift each into the smallest gear. Okay. So the, the hardest for your rear derailleur and the easy for your front. So the reason that you need it in the easiest gear is to have the basically the cable lined up so that you can push it out of the shifter, um, as well as for when you are then going to be reinserting the shifter and, and um, retightening it down, it'll be in the right gear uh, to make the adjustments for the derailleurs. So the next thing I like to do at this point, just so that I don't forget to do it later on, is to dial the barrel adjuster all the way in. You're basically, you're screwing it in now so that you can unscrew it later to okay. add tension. Okay, there, that's all the way. You also have one, an inline barrel adjuster for your front derailleur mm -hmm. right there. So you'll screw that in as well. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna be doing is unscrewing the cable from the derailleur. As you're unscrewing, make sure that you note which direction the cable is going into the derailleur. Okay, so you mean I wouldn't be able to put it down here when I Right, you want to keep the Put cable in the same spot okay. that it was, assuming, of course, that it was in the right spot to begin with. Yeah. Um, and do I unscrew this all the way? No, you'll want to leave. You you just unscrew it uh, far enough to get the cable out. Okay. Um, and you can even maybe screw it a tiny bit back up now so that it doesn't come loose. That's okay. fine. All right. Next thing that we're going to want to do is start to take the cable um, out and apart. So we'll begin by cutting off the end there. Just cut off the end so that you get the frayed part off. That way you can um, easily route it back through. Yeah. So now we're going to start taking the cable off. Um, because this is an internally routed uh, frame, mm -hmm. we're just going to take the outer off right now. So this part. Mm -hmm. oh, stay. Okay. And we're going to set that aside. What I recommend when you're beginning is as you take the cables off, put them kind of in order um, of how you took them off. So this was the end of the bike, the the back by the rear derailleur, kind of going to the front. We'll put the next piece of housing back here. That way, as you cut the new housing, you remember what size goes where, um, as well as with all the ferrules. So that is uh, a cable housing. Um, that we're basically gonna, we're going to use it to make a guide through the frame. Okay. That way it'll be easy to route the new cable back into the frame. I noticed that this is a lot thinner than the, the housing. Mm -hmm. So that's so it can fit all the way right. through the frame. Right? This, it's actually, this cable was for older style housing that used to be two pieces. Mm -hmm. um, and there still maybe are some today that are like that. But this would be basically the inner piece of the housing and there would be a, a second outer piece that would be like the protectant side. Oh, okay. So this is just the inner housing that we're going to be using as a guide. Okay. So I put it in through here? Yep. So just run that over and stick it in. Now we're going to do this in two steps. The first step is going to run from back here to the bottom oh. down here. And there you see it coming out. You're good. Okay. So once the housing has come to the bottom bracket area, you can go ahead and pull the cable through to there, the inner cable. Just make sure that that housing stays in place and you don't knock it out. Okay. Because that's going to be our guide, right? Yeah, that's going to be the guide to make it easier to route it back through. Mm -hmm. And we're going to route another liner through the down tube. So this is going to go up here. Up here. And it's going to come out by the housing okay to make it easier to route the new cable through yeah, because you've got small holes here at, at the bottom 
it can be hard to put the new cable through and have it come out exactly where you want it. So um, is this usually how others do it, or is this just your way? There's of there's a few different ways of doing it. There are some um, kits that you can buy to do it to make it easier. Um, okay, I've I've hit a. So you've hit the end here. Okay, so we're gonna have to go ahead and take this covering off. So go ahead and take the cable out first. This one. Yep. Pull it out. And then you'll have to get an Allen wrench to unscrew that screw that's in there. Okay, so to get to the screw, we're gonna use some pliers to grab the ferrule. <gasps> I'm not gonna bend it? Way. It doesn't matter if you break it. Okay. Because we have others. Okay. All right, so now I'll go ahead and unscrew it. Oh, that sounds sandy. Yeah. It's always a good idea to keep those <laughs> greased and lube, but if you sweat, um, or if you're riding your bag, they can get contaminated and they can start to rust and corrode. So go ahead and pull that out. Take Make sure out. you don't lose the screw. Now what you're gonna have to do though, is you have to push the housing all the way through until it comes out here. Okay. Before you pull the cable out. Before the cable comes out. Yep. Okay, there it is. Okay. And maybe give it, uh, give it a bend so that it doesn't fall back down. Or the other thing you can do is tape it to the frame. Yeah, let's tape it to the frame, maybe right here? Yep, so tape that on so that it doesn't fall out. Okay. And then you can go ahead and pull the inner all the way out. Make okay. sure you don't lose that screw on the... On the, the end. All and right. then I can take this yep. out, right? Yep, and set that aside. And again, I like to put it kind of in order, um, kind of up there in our order. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna pull up the hood on the shifter until you've exposed where the cable comes out on the 6800. So you can see the head of the cable right in there. So go ahead and push the cable up and you'll see it pop out. So you can see it's it's coming out right there. Now just pull it out from right there. Mm -hmm. And there you go. Okay. Here's right. my old cable. Ooh. On your bike, you've got internal housing even on the handlebars, mm -hmm. which makes it a pain in the ass to be honest <laughs> we will we will get it done so the next thing you're going to do is unwind the bar tape at least to the shifter um, we're going to be replacing the bar tape so we'll go ahead and take it all the way off all right so now we're going to pull the housing out of the handlebar, the handlebar. Mm -hmm. Ooh. and so what a, you can see it's tight because it gets so stuck in tight. certain areas such as right in here and along here. This way to get out of there is to grab some pliers. All right, this is old housing, so we're not gonna reuse this, so it doesn't matter if you damage it, so you can be a little bit more aggressive with trying to take it out. But you kind of have to twist it down to line it up so that it's... Twist it. So like, twist it kind of like... Like this, right? Make sure that you don't scrape against your bars, because these are carbon bars. You don't want to damage those. It's really hard for me. Oh. You can do it. Okay. That, no? Am I coming? It's coming. I'll just pull it back. And do I want this to come out too? Yep. The ferrule? So a little bit of twist motion will bring that out. Ah. Whoops, and it shut off. <laughs> <laughs> but it's free. So is now, this going to be a problem when it's coming out of here? Yeah, so straighten that so straighten out a bit. That, okay. Okay. So we're going to pull it through from up there. Oof. So pull this out, out down here so that it goes straight in and it's not catching on the bars. Pull it out like this? Yep. Okay, I can And then it. once it, that goes through, it'll be a lot easier. It's stuck right here. Because it's bent. What is it? Yep, so push it, try pushing it in there. Push it back like that direction because it gets caught on the hole here. Yeah. See, this is hard to get on camera. Okay. Ah! All right. 
I'm so. sweating. <laughs> okay. So keep it in order. Um, that way you remember what oh. part went where. So now we've added this other part from the handlebars. So everything is in order. We will be using this Rode Shimano shift cable set as our replacement. We're going to use the old housing as a guide to cut out the new one. So try and straighten this out. Cable cutters. Now make the cut with two hands. I and say sharp. make it as fast as you can so it cuts nice and, even. and clean. And clean, okay. Fast, fast, fast. There you go. Let's see, did you make a good cut or not? Not the best. Oh. Not horrible. It's my first time, um, okay? So what you can do, if you have a cut that's not super clean, is you can grab a file and you can file it down. But we don't um, have one right We now. don't have a file and this cut's good enough, I would say. Does it pass? You give me a B or an A? A minus? It's a B. Okay. Good enough for me. So pro tip for the ultimate in clean shifting is to grab a little pick and just make sure that the inner housing is not kind of folded or bent in. Um, so just kind of bring it to the outside all around. You'll want to kind of place it on top and measure it with your finger so that you know um, so how you know, far to push. Yeah, about how far until it gets to the opening right here. And actually, the best thing to do would be to stop just short of there. Let me hold it here hold for it right you. There. Yeah. You could always use like some tape or something to mark that yeah. off. See like. Right. Okay, so just an inch or so short. Okay, so right there. Mm -hmm. And then. No, a little bit farther. Half, like in half of that distance. There? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now we know it should be somewhere right in right. here. Right. So the easiest way to get this cable to come out that hole, if we if we have any luck at all. We're going to use our brake cable, which is already in here, to basically form a funnel right here. And, you know, basically we're going to hope that, that the shift cable catches against the brake cable and, and comes out the hole really easily. So we'll see if that works. If not, we'll have to put the inner cable in through the line and then fish it out here and then use the inner cable to pull the housing out of this hole. I'll kind of line it up to form a funnel. Go ahead and give it a push and you see it popped out right there. It did? Yep. Cool. Okay. So push it a little bit more. There you awesome. go. Awesome. <sighs> so that was easy peasy. Okay. All right. And a little bit more. Stop. So we're going to grab out our ferrule from this handy little kit. We're going to get the one with the shorter shorter um little inner on it this one yes and you can see that this one has this little ridge here basically to to line it up in the derailleur or sorry in the shifter um and make sure that it's not like twisting and, and that it stays put so we're going to take our ferrule and throw it onto our housing okay but the other thing is just make sure that this little square part is like lines with lined them. up on the outside there okay the, here's where the tricky part is with these internally routed handlebars is getting this uh, cable back into the shifter because it's very difficult to push it through from this side unless you have a decent amount and you can pull it like straight out like that right because you have to make it lined up here um and it's hard to just, just hard to push it out. So, we're gonna go ahead and try and get this put into the shifter now. So you're not gonna be able to do it by hand. There we go. That's all the way in? It's uh, not the prettiest, but I think that is all the way seated. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Now we go ahead and put the cable in and route it through. So, go ahead. so we're gonna feed the cable in. Okay, so you can see it comes out of the other side. So now push it, put this in through our housing that we just ran. Mm -hmm. 
So keep, so keep pushing, pushing it through it. and it'll come out of here, right there. So now you can pull it through from here. Right, and now push you have to in. push that down. Now pull it, pull it from the other end. Pull it through. Yeah. All right, um. so now you're gonna feed this through here. So make sure you put all the ferrules on that you need before you route everything through. Okay. So we're gonna put some grease on the threads just to make sure if any Here's sweat or anything gets in there. Yeah, it's fine. Yep, and then through the liner. And we'll see it come out right here. So now go ahead and push that on and tighten the screw in. Yeah, I think it's in all the way. Now we can take this out, right? Yep. So the liner can come off now. And you've got your inner. Alright, then start routing the inner through the second set of lining. And push it through. Should come out now. And there it is. We're using the new one to measure it out. Or the old one to measure out the new one. Okay, clean cut, use both hands. And go fast as you can. Fast as you can, one, two, three, go! Woo! Yeah, nice and clean. There you go. Grab some new ferrules from a little pack. The long one this time, right? Yep, so the long one, and then look at what's on the other end. Yeah, this. Yep, and then put those on. We're going to open up the liner first, and then we'll put the... Ferrules on. All right, and then right there, back through there, and just make sure it's on the right spot Alone. and it's in the groove, and then you can go ahead and. I like to make it easier to get it lined up by moving the der the derailleur into an easier gear before tightening. Um, I personally like to just tighten it up um, after pulling it through as tightly as you can. As this part? Yeah, so mm -hmm. pull you pull that through and then tighten it up. Mm -hmm. And then I How usually find that the barrel adjuster has enough... Uh, adjustability to get it to where it needs to be. All right, so now you are going to shift your rear derailleur mm -hmm. one one gear up, mm -hmm. so one gear easier. Mm -hmm. And then what you're going to do is you're going to adjust the barrel adjuster until the chain goes into the next gear. Got it. And then you'll know that your gears are at least pretty close to be lined up. You might have to adjust it a little bit more after, but okay. so shift. Up? Yep. Now pedal and wait for it to move. There. there you go. So now you can kind of run through the gears and see if. If it's hesitating in one direction, you have to push it farther that way. Pretty good. Now we're gonna do the front derailleur cable. So we're gonna go ahead and unscrew it. Okay, this one goes through the bottom now, not the top. All right, so we're gonna cut the end off you and then we'll run the liner up the cable so that it will be easy to bring it back down. Okay. Okay. One okay. screw up here at the top first. So pull that out a little bit. And then push it up through the bottom now.
There you go. Save this part. I remember that. I'll put it over here. So now we're going to go ahead and remove the tape. We're actually not going to replace the housing on this side because it was still good. And it's too much work <laughs> when it doesn't have to be done. We are just going to replace the bottom portion because this is easy to get to. It's the area before the barrel adjuster, or after the barrel adjuster, rather. But we'll be replacing the bar tape either way, so we're going to take that off. So now we're going to go ahead and push the cable back up, and Things it'll come out up. of the housing here. Pull it out right here. Oh, it already came out? If you can get it. Let me push it up a little. There you go. There it is. Okay, old cable. And now we get the new one. Oh. All right, so we're only going to replace this bottom little piece of housing because the, the housing was pretty good and it's kind of a pain in the butt to route it through here. So we have this little scrap of housing that we're going to use because it seems to be the same size. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect. I think that's all the way in. And then you'll need to grab a new ferrule. Mm -hmm. Let's put on the end. Okay. All right, now so now we just grab the new cable. Thread it in through here. Yep, so put it in through that hole again. Pop that little cover off. Oh, this one? Yep. Okay. All right, route that up the cable. There you go, keep pushing it. And we'll see it come out. Oh my god, I love that I'm learning how to do this. Ooh, there you go. So now pull it all the way out. Mm -hmm. And then you'll just make sure that it gets seated all the way up here. So push it down and pull. There you go. It's all the way in? Mm -hmm. All right, so put the ferrule on. All righty. All right, so now we're going to put the cable back on. Make sure that we have it in right. It's going to go over that bottom little piece and then across and up again different types of derailers are going to route differently just make sure that you route yours the same as it was all right so now we're going to tighten up the cable for the front derailleur we do have the barrel adjuster on the the inline cable one um, but often these are not enough alone to take out enough slack to get the tension where you need it to be. So we're going to try tightening it up and see if that works. And if not, um, we'll have to tighten it up while already pushing the derailleur in a bit uh, to make sure that there's enough tension. All right, so you can kind of wrap in your hand to get some friction and then tighten it up while you're pulling as tight as you can up. All right, so once you have the cable tightened, you can adjust the driller with your barrel adjuster. So now I'm going to cut the cable, but up to where should I cut it? So you just leave about inch and a half or so. If you're a super weight weenie, then you can cut it all the way back. Or uh, Arrow Geek. Oh. <gasps> okay. You can cut it all the way back. Okay, so I'll just do it over here. Okay, the cut one? the front. About the same amount. Okay. All right. Now put the put my... end cap on. Put the end cap. On. Squeeze it in. Hard as you can. Yeah. Squeeze muscles. And squeeze on the back end of the pliers, and then you'll have more leverage. Is this on? It's loose. <laughs> like that. I think it's good. All right, now the front one. <laughs> People are gonna see this and they're gonna make all these memes. Vegans are weak, vegans are weak. They can't even crimp their end caps. <laughs> How do you feel about that? Stop it. <sighs> I 
I think it's good. It probably doesn't help that these are like dollar store pliers. Exactly. But hey, that just adds to the challenge. Okay. I think it's good. Alrighty. Yep. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. dun. Yeah, we have completed this mission. Wait. Okay, bar tape is another video. Goodbye.